I'd like to also, in the meanwhile, bring in Nabila Jamal to get you some of the technicalities of what you can expect as far as the landing of Vikram is concerned. Nabila, it's over to you. Right. Akshita, of course, the landing itself is the biggest challenge. A soft landing five days, five decades on, and we see countries still struggling. India, of course, with its Chandrayaan-3 mission, have already worked out the margin of error, and this time we are super confident that their landing will be on point. I'm going to take you through the Chandrayaan-3's landing process. If you really look at it, let me start with the lander that floats about 30 kilometers above moon. And what we know is that this lander then is controlled in such a manner where the speed is cut down and it will slowly descend towards the moon's surface. And as we know, the moon's gravity will also guide the lander as opposed to what we saw with Luna 25, Russia's space mission. It was guided by a speed, uh, speed rocket. In fact, the Chandrayaan-3 is guided by the moon and Earth's gravity, gravitational force. So that will be guiding Chandrayaan. Chandrayaan will then, as it goes closer to the moon, will have to twist from its horizontal position to a vertical position to land exactly at the spot that has been identified by ISRO. And then, of course, the lander will hover about 7.5 kilometers above moon for a little while. And what we know is that the lander, which is guided, let me tell you, this is all guided by ISRO and their teams there. Uh, their sensors will be calibrated. Uh, the moon's surface will be checked. Only then will they decide to finally bring the lander down to on, the, on the surface of the moon itself. The lander then becomes vertical, like I mentioned, after hovering uh, above the moon's surface for about seven and a half kilometers uh, for a little while until they do their tests, the lander will come to a vertical position and slowly descend. The altitude decreases uh, from seven kilometers odd to 150 meters. It's got to be calibrated and the descent has got to be highly controlled and the lander then eventually will touch down on the moon's surface. As we know, these are the challenges and difficulties that Chandrayaan-3 will have to face. And this is really what is called the 15 minutes of terror. The last final uh, attempts or final uh, stage of the landing is going to be the toughest one. And it seems like ISRO has it under control. Akshita, you're there and you're witnessing it live. Very true. ISRO seems to be having it under control. I know all of us are excited and a tad nervous, but it definitely doesn't look like the scientists behind me are looking at the kind of pictures that have come in right now. We're also getting you a sense of how excited India is. This matters because, you know, it also ups and boosts the morale of our scientists, gives them that sense of purpose. Besides, of course, the scientific aspect of it, there's so much of emotional and sentiment, uh, sentimental value attached to this project. And that's clear in the pictures that are coming in of celebrations from across the country. Kamaljit Sandhu is joining us live from Chandigarh with more on what's happening in her city. Kamaljit, good afternoon. It's over to you. A billion hopes, a billion prayers going in for Chandrayaan-3. I was in Sri Hari Kota when it took off uh, at least uh, four years ago. And then uh, the, the dreams came crashing down. Today we are in Kalpana Research Center and this is Chandigarh University. We have with us a professor who's been part of uh, the ISRO. And, and uh, today we're talking about the excitement and also speaking to the aeroscience students. Uh, do tell us what is the sort of excitement and what goes into making of uh, such a big project? Yeah, ma'am, we are very much excited about this project. Uh, we are actually waiting for once the data will be received from our station because we, we have our own ground control station. We want to know exactly what are the topographs. What is really happening? We'll just show you a 360 degree view because they are tracking down every single moment and uh, these screens will play out live. Uh, when that exact landing really takes place. But yes, we, let's talk to the students out here. How excited are you, especially as an aerospace student? Ma'am, as an aerospace student, we are very excited. There will be a lot of data that we will be getting to study on. And we are very inspired by ISRO, learning from failures, as they always say. What a brilliant line to say. And let me tell you, uh, we asked, and this is what we're going to ask again. How many of you watched Chandrayaan 2 when it was close to landing, how much of you? Oh, yes, the hands really going up because these are science students. You are in Sri Harikota, you've also interned with them. Do tell us about your experience. Ma'am, uh, during my stint with the Isro Sherkota, what I found very intriguing was that uh, the way of their working on the various uh, space programs as well as the launch vehicle systems, 
it tells us how meticulous we should be with our work. And also, ma'am, it tells us how management uh, is there. How the management is there. Another student, do tell us uh, what are your hopes, especially when it comes to this particular project. A billion prayers already for this project. Uh, of course, ma'am, the value of the project increases uh, because at the, at the last uh, Chandayan 2 is a fail, so that uh, we have to perform this time. And uh, we are actually, uh, the Chandayan 3 is constru uh, uh, constructed in a such a way that every sensor is fail. It, uh, then uh, itself it will land safely. With it should land safely, that's what we're expecting. And see, uh, all these uh, links actually activated. Uh, there is also the ISRO camera, we're looking at that. Let's talk to a woman out here. You know, uh, we've seen posters of Kalpana Chabla, uh, Dr. Sunita William. Uh, now you tell us, as a woman and as a science student, how do you see a role, and especially we've known how women have participated in a big way and leading this particular yes. project. I'm feeling very, very proud today that women are coming up in rocketry sciences where there are limited opportunities and a society dominated by men, but women are standing out here. And to watch it in front of uh, the Chandrayaan 3, it's, it will be a great success and women are contributing in ISRO and we can see in control room as well there are many women out there who are contributing for the mission so yes it's a great it's a big way obviously yeah. with women and obviously let's just try and speak to a professor out here uh, all these aerospace students but what is the focus today we've been told big screens have been kept out for the evening yeah all the screens are on here and in the most of the auditoriums we have on the, all the screens and it will be relay so that we can see landing as smooth as we are jumping on the sponge. Oh, jumping on the sponge, uh, but it's a history in the making and these are students all here. Look at the rockets, look at all the time. Uh, do tell us, uh, what, what is your personal uh, idea about this particular, you know, uh, landing taking place? So basically, it's like uh, last time we failed because we got deviated from a, like, from a fine breakdown position. So this time, the algorithm has been developed in such a way that it will just ta ta tackle all the like orientation and it will like uh, help us to land safely on the... So sorry. error free. There is hardly any room for error and this is what a billion Indians are really hoping for. And the scientific temper here in this particular room with all these students, they are actually now not just holding on to the press but also ensuring that science will play its own part and all these students are going to not only be part of this project and remember as far as Chandigarh University is concerned, they're saying the next big thing is that they already have a, a, and tie up with the ISRO, a satellite would be launched, their own satellite which will monitor the water system. So all this is going to take place, but a big, big exciting day. And from here in the classrooms, they will eventually in the evening move out to the big screen where the entire university students will come together and watch this live. Uh, watch a history unfold live. Very for exciting students. times ahead. And for students, of course, there's nothing bigger than this, especially for those, you know, who are so excited or are passionate about astronomy. It doesn't get bigger than this, essentially. Space exploration, being there to witness this kind of a moon mission and the landing life. Kamalji, thanks very much for getting us a ground report.